Greetings everyone, it's time for a video. It's been a little bit since I've done my last one. Um, just been tied up with stuff. So some time ago, actually to be honest, around a month ago, I ordered um, a, uh, I placed an order from a site I've bought from before, Mr. Worker, uh, mrworker.com, their company out of Italy, sells tools. Anyway, um, had some back order stuff. Turns out it was back ordered a bunch, uh, but it finally came in today. They actually sent it express UPS from Italy, which is pretty good, honestly. Um, got some stall villa stuff in here. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. Um, and as you said, we got UPS Express. Pretty impressive. <coughs> pretty impressive um, for them to send this. So. <coughs> They, uh, of course, include some stuff. Uh, kind of weird how they do a uh, uh, warning for battery because I don't think there's any battery stuff I ordered. Anyway, this is all stall villa stuff. Um, kind of a mix of items. Uh, just to give you an idea here. We got this, uh, what they call kind of a, I don't want to say it's a mechanic hammer, it's a 300 gram hammer from stall villa. Uh, let's see. I don't think you can get this in America, or at least I haven't seen it on any of the American tool um, sellers that sell Stahl Villa. Uh, I, maybe there are some. Uh, let me tell you what the part number is. It's uh, 1097 I think that's Stahl Villa. It's a uh, mechanics hammer. Basically, uh, they have fiberglass handle and whatnot. Um, Not sure if this is made Germany. I think it is. I don't know. They don't. No, actually, I take the back. Made in Italy. Uh, so that's that. Um, picked this up partly because it was really cheap. This was only seventeen dollars, um, and uh, it's kind of a smaller hammer. If you've seen a couple of my other videos, you know I have a lot of bigger hammers. Uh, I kind of wanted one a little smaller. This is a little different pattern. Um, it has kind of a flat peen here. And then, of course, your regular face. Um, kind of interesting, though. It's light. Like I said, 300 grams for the head. Handle's pretty light. It's got a nice feel in the, in the hand, honestly. Um, I may cover this some more later on uh, if after I use it a bit. May, I don't think I'll do a separate video on it, but I may come back around and do kind of a summary on this one and some others. I've, I've used my other hammers a number of times recently. The other two I showed my series. So... If I use this one some, I'll probably come back and do like a what I think of them after using them a bunch. All right, so there's that. Let's see what else we got here. Um, I remember most of it. Let's see. We have a Stahl Villa uh, rule. It is a combination uh, metric and imperial. Uh, one side. They have the, um, hopefully you don't have any glare there. They have the uh, Stahl Villa here. And on the other side, of course, they have the, the rule itself. It's flexible. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm too much a fan of that or not. Uh, we'll see. Um, in any case, it's similar, but not quite the same as the um, Ghidorah. In fact, it's a little skinnier, but it was pretty expensive. I think it was around five dollars uh, I was kind of curious to see um, what it was like compared to the others um, so I'm probably I think there's one more rule I want to try to get maybe a couple um, and then kind of do a comparison between what's available in this style of rule it's uh, like I said 12 inches long and then um, 300 millimeters or 30 centimeters take your pick uh, like I said it's kind of skinny but I'm going, not going to cover it too much other than just to mention that I've got it. And I'm going to do a video, I think, on all these different rules of this style. That are at least the ones I have. Uh, I think part number is 774-6001. Or 6001. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. may not be right, but I think that's it. Anyway, that will come back in a future video. <clears throat> and uh, I have a... 17 millimeter, um, I think uh, they call these, Stahlville calls them their um, 
flex socket. Oh, and by the way, this was made in Germany according to what it says here. Uh, Verptal. Um, anyway, back to this. This is a, I think they call them their Uniflex socket. Uh, basically, it's a, a, your standard universal joint style socket, you'll see. Um, this is a 17 millimeter. Uh, I'm going to do a separate um, video about this. I have some others. Uh, this is 12 point. Um, it's nice and stiff, which I like, but uh, we're going to come back to it later. This is a 3 8 inch drive. Um, part number is, I think it's 02040017. I think the 4717 is the series. It's a 47 series. They've changed. Uh, they discontinued one style and they replaced it with this one. And I have uh, the old style, a number of those I picked up on from a seller. But I, I'm going to cover that in a separate video, so we'll come back to those later. Um, keep an eye out for that one. Let's see what else we have. We have these locking pliers. <clears throat> Um, these are kind of a long, thin nose set. Uh, I have a, a bigger pair of Ghidorah. I think I showed another uh, tool haul. And uh, this is a small, thin pair with a tiny nose. I was curious to see how these are. Um, and I'm going to, again, come back with these in a video as well. Uh, I think they've got them locked in pretty tight. There it is. Yeah. Pretty interesting. They have this long, thin uh, nose here to reach in, I guess, to grab things. And then they have this other area here. I'm going to come back, though, and compare these with um, some others. I have some the more modern Irwin vice grips that, honestly, I don't even think are made in uh, America or I think they're made in China. I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to do a comparison between all these just to kind of get a rough idea of you know, kind of what these are versus, say, you know, what you could find over here in the States. And then in that same vein, I have uh, this pair. This is a pair of 7-inch. And I think in the, uh, these, and oh, by the way, these are all made in Germany. So that's one nice thing to say. Uh, other than this hammer so far, made in Germany, made in Germany, made in Germany, um, which is nice. Uh, let's see. These are, like I said, 7-inch. I think the rating, though, is 175 millimeters, um, which roughly comes out to 7 inches. Uh, again, this is that, what they say is kind of the Euro style. They've got uh, one thing that's kind of interesting is they have the kind of curved bottom and the straight top. It's a, I think they call these their universal style because you can uh, grab both curved and then it closes here on the end so you can grab straight things as well. So, anyway... Curious to see how these are as well. Um, I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to have a video about those. And let's see, the last thing I picked up, um, since I had six items total, is uh, another pair of pliers. Uh, this time, it's this pair of um, long nose. And uh, let me cut these open here real quick. And these have the, um, the bit nose here. I have, uh, let's see, I have a bunch of other pliers, and I'm also going to do a video about those. I don't have the same as, say, you know, some of the professional mechanics. I mean, like, if you've seen Autobahn Dan recently did a, a toolbox tour <laughs> video, three-parter, I think it was, the grand total of time was like three hours, and man, he's got a lot of really good, nice stuff. I certainly, I'm, I don't have anything like that, uh, but I, I do have a pretty decent amount of pliers now for someone like myself as a DIYer, so... I'm going to cover what I have, and I have a couple things that are a little unusual. Um, probably most people won't have, like, I actually never would have thought to ever buy these bit nose pliers, uh, but I have a pair of NWS ones, and now I have these, and I find now that I really like them a lot. In certain situations, they're very handy. But anyway, I have these. Um, I'm going to make another video about them. I mean, ultimately, this is just, this video is just me covering real quick, kind of give people an idea of what's coming up. If there's any interest in you can tune in and check those out when they come out. Um, but other than the hammer, which is made in Italy, all this is made in Germany, which is really nice. Got a good deal, I think, overall. 
um, pricing wise you can of course I'll have links in the description you can check out uh, but I every one of these is going to come back in one way or one way or another uh, either for standalone videos or um, uh, kind of a combination one you know with a ruler covering the locking pliers I'm gonna have the the flex sockets the universal sockets and we'll talk about these along with the others and then I'll talk more about the hammers um, pretty happy with Mr. Worker even though they had a shipping delay and it really wasn't their fault they they just said things were back ordered and it took a little bit longer but I was really impressed they sent this express I mean I got it they shipped it Monday and I got it Thursday and that's from Italy and that's pretty impressive to be honest and I didn't get any extra charge for that they just did it because it was delayed almost uh, three weeks I think so um, pretty happy with that this will be the third order I've had from them, and uh, I've been pleased with their service and pleased with uh, what I've gotten from them. So anyway, that's all for this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, keep an eye out for future stuff coming. I've got my plier storage, which is the next thing here for in the shop, since I, which is supposed to go along with the screwdriver storage. Uh, I've got a multi-part video coming up about some tool storage, which is kind of a bigger project. I've got another potential project for um, some woodworking stuff. I've got these things I've got to fix. Um, that's its own story. That's going to be a separate video on just repairing a headset. Uh, and then, of course, lots of other stuff in the uh, I, pile of ideas to do. Anyway. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you want, you can like, subscribe, make a comment, don't make a comment, and as always, thanks for watching.